In associative mapping, search is an overhead. And to overcome that, we have the third mapping technique, set associative mapping. Here, we group the cache lines. And the grouping is done in k way, where k is the number of lines in a set. For example, let's take the k as 2. Then we need to segregate the cache into sets, each of size 2. Something like this. Where the number of lines in a set is 2. Because k is 2. And in this mapping, the memory blocks are connected to a set using the logic of direct mapping. And this mapping is from main memory to set. And inside set, the mapping is associative map. So basically, set associative is actually a combination of these two. The advantage is, associative mapping is only for a set. And here you can clearly see, the number of lines inside set is only 2. Therefore, the number of comparisons will be less or the search will be drastically reduced. It is just restricted to these two lines. Therefore, set associative is actually better than a full associative mapping. Okay, to understand this, let's take the previous example. Here we have 128 byte memory and cache size is 32 byte and block size is 8 byte. And number of blocks will be memory size by block size. That is 128 by 8, that is 16 blocks. And number of lines is cache size by block size, that is 32 by 8, that is 4 lines. Now let us assume this is a two-way set associative cache. Here the value of k is 2. So we need to partition the cache into sets. And before that, let's find out how many sets will be there. Number of sets will be the number of lines divided by the k. So here we already know it is 4 lines divided by k value is 2. Therefore, it will be 2 sets. Or I can write this as 2 power 1 sets. So we need 1 bit for set indexing. What does that mean is, first let's look number of sets. It is 2. So I'll partition this cache. This will be set 0 and this will be set 1. So we just need 1 bit to identify the first set and we need just 1 bit to identify the second set. That's what is set index means. And these are actually lines and this is the set. But anyways, we don't need the lines. So let me erase this and let me put this set number to the left side. Now set 0 can hold all the blocks whose block index least significant bit is 0. So it can hold block 0, block 2, block 4 and so on. So these blocks can be loaded into set 0. How about the set 1? This can hold the blocks having the least significant bit in the block index as 1. So this, this and here this one. Now out of these blocks, let's assume one of the block is loaded. So let's say 3 is loaded onto the cache. So this one, let's say this is loaded onto set 1 and, and in line 2. So when the data is copied into this particular line, immediately the most significant bits will be copied into the tag bits. So it will be 0, 0, 1. Let's take one more block. Let's say block 1 is also loaded. So this particular block, if it has to be copied into the cache, one slot is available in Z1. So let's assume it is copied into this particular slot. So these most significant bits of the block index will be copied here into the tag bits. Now let's assume the CPU makes one request. This is the physical address. Now from the block size, it is 8 bytes, so we can write this as 2 power 3. So 3 bits are needed for block offset. So least significant 3 bits are block offset. Then we already found out the set index bits, that is 1. So next bit will be the set index and the remaining bits will be the tag bits. Now based on the set index, it understands that it belongs to set 1. So 
it will use a comparator to compare the physical address tag bits with the set one tag bits. The first comparison it fails, but the second comparison it is a success. Therefore, this request is a hit. Cache it. Now, if you have observed previously in associative mapping, we had four comparators, but now here we have only two. The reason to have two is because we have divided the cache into sets of size two. So this will drastically reduce the number of searches. Also, the number of tag bits have been reduced. Initially, in associative mapping, we got four tag bits, but here we have only three. So the size of the comparator is also reduced. To understand the segregation of physical address bits in set associative mapping, I'll first pick up direct mapping just for comparison. The first few bits will be the block offset. The next few bits are cache index and the rest of the bits are tag bits. Now for such associative mapping, the block offset remains same. After the block offset, the next few bits are set index, which is actually less in comparison to cache index. The reason is cache index refers to the number of lines and set index refers to the number of sets and we already know number of sets is less than number of lines therefore cache index bits will be greater than the set index bits now to identify the number of bits for set index let me do the following derivation to find the number of lines we do it as cache size by block size which turns out to be 2 power cache index and for number of sets we do it as number of lines divided by k so this is 2 power cache index by k now in order to divide this with this i need to convert this k in terms of exponent of 2 so for this let me assume k equals some 2 power x now using logarithms if i do log on both sides log k base 2 is equal to this can be written as and this part is 1 so x is log k base 2 therefore we can write number of sets is 2 power cache index by 2 power x because we have taken k is equal to power x and x we already found out so this is 2 power ci by 2 power log k here i need not write the base because whenever we say log it automatically means it is of base 2 so this becomes 2 power ci minus log k and this is 2 power set index and from these two i can write the set index is cache index minus log k very important one so basically from the cache index bits we are subtracting few bits these few bits are nothing but log k i hope you are clear with this then the rest of the bits other than the set index will be taken as tag bits okay let's generalize this here is the common formula whenever we know the memory size we can write it as an exponent of 2 this becomes 2 power physical address and cache size can be written as 2 power cache address and block size is 2 power block offset number of blocks is memory size by block size which turns out to be 2 power block index and number of lines is cache size by block size that is 2 power cache index and now for set associative mapping we have one more additional formula that is number of sets which is number of lines divided by k and if you write it in exponent of 2 it is 2 power set index and the set index is cache index minus log of k now coming to the segregation of the physical address first few bits will remain same block offset next few bits will be the set index and the rest of the bits will be the tag bits this is a very important topic for gate so try to solve more number of questions from set associative mapping <laughs>